I am going to teach you how to make Silver as a brand new character if you are brand new to Albion Online. This also applies to anyone that's been playing for a while and maybe has a bit of a bankroll. You can still do this and it might be better than what you're currently doing. This guide does not apply to veteran players who have been playing for an absolute long time, who have maximum crafting and plenty of gear sets and tons of characters and islands. This is strictly for new players or players that are only playing one character for some reason, alright? So, this is the best way to make silver for new players. The first step is to do the tutorial, never ever skip the tutorial. Why? Because when you do the tutorial, you get three free days of premium, which means everything you do is essentially doubled. Everything you gather is doubled. You get double fame, which is experience in this game. Alright, you can farm up to 100,000 silver in rough stone before you leave the tutorial. I recommend everyone do this. You can also farm other materials before you leave if you want, or get a bunch of mules, and, and that's not quite as much as 100k, but you can easily make 100k in under, you know, like 30 to 40 minutes just on Tutorial Island, because the stone respawns insanely fast. And, because you get three free days of premium, you are also given 30,000 focus for those three days, which you can turn into a lot of money. I'm going to show you how. Now, I'm going to advise that you do the tutorial on as many characters, on as many accounts as you can stand. Personally, I would do about six or seven accounts with three characters per account, because three is the maximum, all right? And the reason I'm showing you my YouTube page here, go to youtube.com slash swolebenji or click my channel name from this video. Click this search bar and type tutorial. The very first video at, the, at this top is how to do the tutorial fast in Albion Online. This will teach you how to speed run the tutorial so that you can get done in under 10 minutes, but you have to AFK for 5 minutes because you are not allowed to leave Tutorial Island for the first 15 minutes. So, the reason I want you to make 6 or 7 accounts of characters is because you can do dailies on all of them for huge starting cash. You can also get 30,000 fame per character and those 100,000 silver in starting rocks, okay? Once you're done with that, we're going to go to the next step. Now, once you have the alts created and you are out of Tutorial Island, you've sold your starting rough stone. If you've watched that video, you'll understand. What you do next is you do your dailies, okay? So what kind of dailies? Those are the daily expedition portals. I'm going to explain all of this, don't worry. Uh, and the arenas, okay, which you can do at the very start. You can easily afford immediately into tier 4.1, allowing you to do these and allowing you to speed run them, okay? So, Royal Sigils right now, because the season just started and a big patch just dropped, they're only worth 20,000, but they are normally worth 40,000, okay? So, when you have, you can get at least a few of these a day on each character times three times however many accounts you have. Personally, if I knew everything that I know now as an Albion player, I have over 10,000 hours in this game. I've been playing since it came out, okay? Uh, 10,000 hours. If I had to start brand new today with everything that I know, I would have seven accounts, each with three characters, which I do now, but that's the first thing I would do. All right, and that would give me a huge starting money. I'm going to tell you how to mule that money to one character later, but for now, on each of those characters, do your dailies, because that's the best money you're going to get as a brand new, fresh character, okay? So let me show you some examples. For Royal Sigil Farming, for more information on that, go to my channel, click the search button, and type Royal Sigil into the search. This video here, newbie, 900,000 an hour silver, profits from doing Royal Sigil dailies in Albion Online. Your profits might be a little bit less because right now the market is a little bit down from that, okay? Um, also, if you wanted just a complete guide, this one's two hours long. You can go ahead and watch that. It's the fastest possible start for new players. Beginner's Guide 2022 edition, all right? Uh, instead of using uh, Spirit Hunter, you could use Bolt Casters or Light Crossbow, or you can use Spiked Gauntlets if you want. Those are all fine options. It's up to you what you want to do, okay? But those two videos right now, that this is if you're completely new and have no idea what you're doing. Um, if you have a general grasp and you have those alts created, do this Royal Sigil daily every day. That's going to make you tons and tons of early silver, which I'm going to show you how to turn that into even more silver up next. Now, step three is once you've done your dailies, you have a bunch of silver, you're going to spend some of that to create your own guilds. And that is one guild per character, so three guilds per account. So if you have seven accounts, that is 21 guilds. And that means you have 21 guild islands 
which means you will have so, so many laborers that you're going to massively, massively profit. I'm going to talk about that next and how to do it and why you should do it, okay? But having multiple guild islands, it's super cheap and you will grow laborers and you will instantly make the money back that you spent on these guilds. Trust me on this. Now, if you want, on your main character, you can have it not make a guild, but have all your other characters make guilds and give it access to your main character so that you can join a guild and play with your friends or do whatever it is you want to do with other guilds. Uh, though I'm not going to talk too much about guilds, but uh, a lot of them do tax you and just use you as cannon fodder in their army, so um, they are not they don't really have you in their best interest in mind. But if you find one that's good, great. Otherwise, use those alt characters and make a bunch of guild islands so that you can use them for labors. I'm going to talk about how to use labors in just a sec. I know I keep redirecting you to videos, but this is the fastest way to explain it, okay? Type create guild into my search channel bar here, and you will see why you should make your own guild. Albion Online Beginner's Guide, okay? Again, it's a year old, but it's still relevant. It's still exactly the same, okay? And this is going to show you why you should make your own guild, how to make your own guild, why you should absolutely, you know, fill it full of laborers and all that fun stuff. Now, I know laborers are confusing. It's a very confusing subject, but boy, do I have two videos for you, okay? Type laborer into the search, and you will find how houses and laborers work in Albion Online. Housing and laborers island guide. But also, the optimal house building strategy that will make you rich Albion Online beginner's guide. Both of these videos will teach you all about housing and laborers because you're just using your guild island. You will be able to build a guild building, which is much cheaper than building multiple houses and fill it full of laborers, and it's much cheaper to furnish. Okay, and then we're going to get to the next step. The next step is on all of those characters. After three days, they will have 30,000 focus, and you are going to spend all of that focus. Why? Because it's free money for pressing the craft button. Even when you don't have any crafting specialty, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so that you can make tons and tons of silver just by spending 30,000 focus. There are. This is something I still do and a lot of players still do. They will consistently make new characters, run them through the tutorial, and let them incubate for three days so that they get 30,000 focus, and then use that focus for basically free income generation. It's an insane amount of money in silver. There's no reason not to ever do it or continuously do it. You can just use throwaway accounts if you want and then mule it to your main if you want, or just delete characters and remake them, run them through the tutorial. The, the, this is an endless amount of free money, but it does take three days at a time to do. All right, and I'm going to show you how to do it in just a sec here. Now, here's the, also the thing. You want to spend that focus before you ever buy or use premium because the very first time that you buy premium, not counting your three-day premium, an actual 30 days premium, you will instantly receive 30,000 focus as a gift. So if you already have 30,000 focus and then you get premium, you've essentially lost 30,000 focus, which is a huge amount of money to lose, okay? Now, granted, it's not the best use of focus, but for a new character, it is free money. Of course, focus is best used when you have maximum crafting, but holding on to that focus that will take you months, if possibly a year, to reach is insane, and you should not do it. This is for new characters and new players who just want to make instant silver so they can get premium as soon as possible. Let me show you how to do it. Again, on my channel page, type in the phrase silver method, and you're going to click on this second result that says 1.6 million an hour uh, method, okay? And this is going to show you how exactly to spend that focus, what to craft, how to craft it, which journals you need to buy, which you can sell or use on those laborers that you now have. It really, it, it depends on what you want to do. This goes over everything. This is, I, this is a video that I never truly wanted to release to the public because it was that good at making money. Now, here's the thing. When this video was released a year ago, it got super, super popular and everyone did it. And you know what happens when everyone does something? The prices go down to nothing. So, if this video you're watching right now has a lot of views and is recent, this method may not work. But it's still free money. You're still going to make a profit. You just might not make $1.6 an hour doing it, okay? So, with that said, let's go to the next step. Now, the next step is to get premium. You can buy premium. You should have more than enough silver at this point to be able to buy it with silver. If you're rich, you can always buy it with real money, too. But I recommend buying it with in-game silver because that means the game is truly free to play. So why do you want premium? Well, when you buy premium, you are allowed to have what's called a personal island. On your personal island, you can have houses, which you can fill with laborers. And I'm going to recommend the tier 3 island, I believe. It's the island with three farm plots. That is the 
most cost-effective island to upgrade to. The the one with four and five farm plots, those are like those that's splurging. It's a huge waste of money. It's much cheaper to premium another character and get it to three farm plots than it is to get one character to five. Okay. Now, also with premium, you get double fame, which is I'm calling experience for new players. They don't know what experience is or fame is. Uh, you get double the silver drops, and you get 50% increased loot or loot chances or loot rarity, okay? And what that means is that you have a higher chance for more loot. You have a higher chance for better loot. And you get 10,000 focus per day for 30 days or longer if you buy a longer premium, okay? Now, what you want to do is once you can afford your first premium, put it on your main character and play that while still doing your dailies and your other activities that you're doing on your alts. But also... That one premium, should at the end of the month, you should be able to afford three premiums. Then you will put premium on three characters, and then those three premiums will allow you to afford nine premiums, and then 27. Then it just gets crazy from there, okay? So that means by your sixth month mark, you're going to be able to afford an infinite number of premiums. And I know that sounds crazy to some of you, but it's true. And the reason why you have those alts that you've been leveling and playing and doing dailies on... They will all be able to be able to focus craft their own little niche or refine for you, okay? And let me just explain a little bit what that means, okay? So, uh, let's say you want to be a lumberjack in the game. You like to chop wood, okay? And you you have one character that refines the wood into planks. Well, now you have another character that likes to craft bows, and that character can use his focus to craft bows, okay? Uh, so instead of having one character try to do both, which is not mathematically feasible, it's not as profitable as having two characters do it, you now have a way to, you know, generate uh, more planks per day and more bows per day. But also you have all the islands set up with housing and guild islands set up for laborers. So now you have Fletcher laborers, you have Lumberjack laborers, you have all the labor, and you're also growing other laborers to just sell if you watch those other videos. You have to watch those videos for it to make sense, okay? So, uh, just feel free to rewind and check them out. There's plenty of time to learn all this stuff, okay? But once you do, it pays massively, all right? So, with that, you are able to generate an infinite number of silver without ever, ever having to worry about dying in the black zone and losing everything or going broke or not being able to afford premium the next month, okay? Now, let me show you the best things to do with premium on your islands and how to follow it, okay? First off, for your farmland, you can really grow whatever you want, and I would recommend as a new character using your focus on it because it's not it's not the most profitable thing, even if you max it out, but it is something. It's still profitable. However, if you really don't want to use your focus on growing crops, this video here, just type crop into the search, into my channel's search, like I said in the earlier part of the video, and look for this one, Albion Online, the best crop to grow for new players. This video will teach you which crops to grow even if you do not water them. And you, to, to water a plant means it has more yield and you will, um, you know, make a profit even if you don't water them, okay? But you do want to harvest crops with focus on your fo your premium to character because it's basically double yield. If you, if you don't have uh, premium and you harvest crops, you still can do it, but you only get half as much and you're going to be losing money. The cost of the seeds are going to be higher than the profit of the plant but if you watch this video it will explain everything so go check it out it's just a little 10 minute video i'm sure you can skip around some of the some of the jib jab stuff you know because i tend to rant on on and on in some of these videos but the information is there go watch it if you want to grow crops i recommend that you grow crops when you have premium you should be using that thing every single day it's free money that you're just leaving out to dry if you don't now, if you're curious how much money you can make with a ton of islands and with high focus on multiple characters for watering plants, type island into my search, scroll down a bit, and find this video, Albin Online Grinding Series Episode 12, Island Herb Farming. And that's just a video of showing how much herbs I get from all of my islands and how much money I make doing it and how much money it costs to upkeep and how much time it takes to farm it. In this case, it was about a 33-minute video. So for all my islands, it took me about 30 minutes of, you know, playing Farmville, essentially. But it did make a lot of money, okay? Also, with all of those alt characters, you may be wondering, how do I transfer silver? Well, you should wait until you have a guild island to transfer silver, because that is the most secure, fastest, and easiest method across both characters and accounts. 
Type in transfer silver into my search and look at this video here. Albion Online, the best method to transfer silver. That will explain and fully teach you how to transfer silver. It's completely allowed. I just want to mention that Albion Online allows you to have multiple characters and multiple accounts. However, they do not allow you to play multiple characters at the same time if they are uh, not in a blue or a safe zone. This video does not show you playing multiple characters or accounts. This allows someone with a very slow and crappy PC who can barely run one instance of the game. You do not have to log into multiple characters, so go check out that video if you want to learn how to transfer silver from one character or account to another. Alright, if you've made it this far, and you've been playing for at least a month or two, you should have the following, okay? You should have 9 to 21 characters doing dailies, as much as you can stand. If you've watched those videos, you'll notice that the dailies only take a few minutes. At this point, you're probably not doing arenas anymore, just doing the expedition daily for the fast uh, royal sigil. Uh, you should have at least premium on one or up to three characters by this point, okay? The more, the merrier. Uh, I actually have a video where I spent 100 million uh, silver to uh, get premium on, like, nine characters at, all at the same time. Um, and another thing, too, is the more premiums you have active, the more daily rewards you get. You get these chests, which can have focus potions, but you also get these mounts. And if you make sure that you have premium rolling uh, in between months, so what I mean by that is... If you have premium active, you can get this month's mount, which is the Gallant Horse worth 500k. It'll go up to 700k later later in the year. I know I have text on the screen, it's hard to see the data. But in the next month is the Ghost Boar, and that's usually worth over a million. So if you manage to collect both mount rewards on one premium, let me go ahead and claim that, uh, then you've essentially made a bunch of money, okay? Uh, and th yeah, it's just, it's just that good. So the more premiums, the better. But also... You should have anywhere from 12 to 24 islands filled with laborers, consistently growing laborers. Laborers just hitting tier 5 sell from anywhere from 50 to 120,000 depending on the market. They do take a little bit of time to sell, but essentially they, were, they only cost you 1,000 silver and just a bit of your time from doing whatever it is that you, you've been doing, like gathering or doing dungeons, or preferably killing open world mobs. I'm going to get to that in a little bit, okay? So once you have all of this stuff... It's time to decide what it is you want to do in Albion. Do you just want to roam the open world and kill people? Do you want to farm up your spec to 100 and, you know, get really powerful by fame farming very fast? Do you want to be a gathering absolute chad where you can chop down all the trees, mine all the, all the rocks, and so on and so forth? That's completely up to you. Let me show you some cool ways to get there. For the fastest way to fame farm is going to be open world mobs. There's a video by Big Lips McGee. Just type in youtube.com slash Big Lips McGee. He is not paying me to do this. Uh, he is not affiliated with me. I don't even know if he likes me. So Albion Online Dev Team, he do not punish him. I'm just shouting him out because his videos are good. Click on the, his search bar and type in fame farm. Okay? And then you're going to see this video that's titled The Best Build to Fame Farm Solo. And that is a Spiked Gauntlets build that he goes over on how to use it on open world mobs, okay? So go check out that video. I don't have a video on my channel that showcases it. And from my personal testing, I have not found a way to beat that build as far as fame farming speed goes. It is the current king of fame farming. So go watch the video. It's nine minutes long. It's very nice and well done edited, okay? So it's very easy watch, very easy to digest. Digest and, get, and he's got all the info posted on the screen too so you can probably watch it without volume if you have to if you're like in a busy subway or something and you can still get the info out of it unlike my videos which are all audio based so go check that out that'll teach you how to fame farm as fast as possible to get a high level spec so that you can go smash mobs faster farm faster or even beat up other players if you chose to go the gathering route, you can type gathering on my channel and you can see that I have a path for new players from tutorial to uh, onward, if you don't care about PvP, if you don't care about doing dungeons or killing mobs, just if you want to break rocks and chop trees, okay? But I have tons of other videos that talk about gathering, why it's good, why it's bad, uh, tips for gathering, which just show, like this video, to sum it up, if you've watched the other videos, it teaches you how to use journals and laborers while you gather to get the most out of gathering, okay? This one is a very early guide I made when my channel was brand new, and unfortunately, I was very vulgar in it, so it is... Restricted to people of 18 years or older. Um, yeah, so uh, you may not be able to watch that one, okay? I also have other gameplay videos on how to gather and why you shouldn't gather in the Avalonian Roads as a solo, showing exactly why, 
okay? Uh, I also have many comparisons to tier 8 zones, tier 5 zones, why you should gather in tier 5 zones, why it's much more smoother, how much money you can make while gathering. I have tons and tons of videos about gathering on my channel, even for other games that aren't Alpine Online, apparently, like New World. New World died, by the way. Don't worry about the New World videos. Make sure you click the Albion Online videos, okay? Um, you know, profits from skinning, profits from all sorts of different ways, like the laziest way to gather. How much you can make just gathering rough logs in Limhurst? Okay, that's a thing. That's a real thing you can do. If dungeons are your thing, now I'm going to tell you right now, dungeons give six times less fame than open world mobs, and I no longer recommend them. However, they do generate a little bit more money if you are lucky and you're playing just at the right moment, I guess. Type in speedrun Albion into my search and you will see uh, several builds and examples. Like, this is how to clear dungeons in under two minutes. My record is one minute and 30 seconds, or one minute 29 seconds for a dungeon. Um, you can, uh, I average 1 minute 45 seconds with these builds. Uh, Albion Online speedrunning solo dungeons with the fastest build. Again, this is a, it's basically the same video. It just, um, it just shows, you know, like it's just, uh, two months apart, I guess. <laughs> or four months apart from the other video. I just like to make a little update videos for people like that, okay? So that's for dungeons. If you want to speedrun corrupted dungeons... The fastest is bear paws, and I don't have a video on exactly how to do that. That's extremely tryhardy. But the next best and cheapest alternative is the bow. If you type Albion Online PvP Gameplay, you can watch this Albion Corrupted Dungeons PvP Gameplay 2021. And this shows several different speedruns using several different builds. Some might interest you to show you just how much of a speed difference using different weapons is. And then for the build itself... Type in Corrupted Dungeon Bow, and this right here, Albion Online Corrupted Dungeon Bow Build Guide. The number one budget build is the thumbnail. This is what I would use if I wanted to do Corrupted Dungeons. This is just for clearing the dungeon as fast as possible and getting the treasure. This is also decent for killing other players, though it is not the meta, I guess. So you still will be beaten by meta PvP builds, but you can run away from them safely using this build. This build is purely meant for blowing up Corrupted Dungeons in under six minutes, maybe under five minutes, 30 seconds. I did it in this video in five minutes, 14 seconds. So it's pretty darn quick. If you want to solo group dungeons, you're going to need a lot of spec and a very specific build. So type in group solo dungeons into my search, and I have four videos here, how to quickly solo dungeons, the best build to solo dungeons, group dungeons, the easiest way to solo group dungeons, and how to solo legendary group dungeon bosses. That's right. Uh, you can solo legendary group dungeon bosses and get tons and tons of loot. Though these group dungeons are kind of time consuming and they are fairly difficult even with high spec and the right build. This is if you want a challenge and you want to make a profit. Though honestly, it's not the biggest profit. It's just another activity that you can do if you're bored in Albion. And finally, my favorite activity in all of Albion Online, once you've got everything else going in this guide, Faction PvP. Go ahead and just type the word faction, okay, just type faction into my search, and you're going to get a mix of things here. W one thing is the fastest way to solo your faction dailies in Albion Online. I compare blobbing up with your faction and just capturing points versus being solo and ganking farmers. Alright, Albion Online profits from 30 minutes of solo faction PvP. This will show you how many faction points you can get, and faction points are a great way to make money in this game because it's... The only risk is your repair bill, so it really depends on what kind of gear you want to wear. I wear full 8.3, and I always profit, okay? Um, and then the most optimal way to spend your faction points now being online, once you have a ton of points, this video will teach you how to do it. Now, the thing that you don't absolutely never want to do is faction transports, because you have everything to lose and nothing to gain. So don't ever do faction transport missions, okay? Uh, the fastest way to get faction tokens. That's the wrong game. That's New World. Don't watch that one. <laughs> And if you've fi found a guild or you're in a big army and you want to know the Zerg vs. Zerg builds, type in ZVZ into my search and you will have every ZVZ build guide for Albion Online. Every role covered. It's a very long video, but it is, I believe, timestamped. I don't remember if I timestamped it or not. However, it covers every Zerg vs. Zerg build. It is eight months old, but it's still relevant and it's still one of the top sources of Zerg vs. Zerg builds, or you can always just look up in a little image, you know, like on Google or something if you don't want to watch a 42-minute long video. I understand, but I talk about the pros and cons of every single popular ZVZ meta build, so it is, it is absolutely vital if you are a Zerg vs. Zerg player. 
Now, once you're really rolling in the deep with hundreds of millions of silver, you've got to invest it. You can't just sit on that silver. So type investing into my channel and then check out just some quick silver investing tips for Albion Online. That's going to show off every safe and normal investment, not ones that are going to deflate on you. All right, I do talk about bad investments in that video. I talk about all the safe ones like mounts and skins and certain seasonal items that you should always be buying and selling at certain times. So go check that video out. It's very vital once you're super rich, but most likely if you've hit the 100 million mark, you've, uh, you've probably outgrown my channel. Let's be real. By the way, I forgot to mention earlier in the video when you're doing your dailies and you are uh, doing the arena dailies, type arena into my search again. Check out Albion Online Arena Beginner's Guide. Check out the cheapest arena healer build guide in Albion Online. And then finally, check out the three unbeatable arena builds that will solo carry. Now, these are a year old just about, but they're still relevant. They still work to this day in this current patch. I have been doing them for my arena dailies because they have the Crystal League now. It's non-lethal. You can queue up for it. I still use these, and so many Redditors are mad that I tell people to use certain healing builds, and which skips the queue, and then if your team is bad, you don't have to heal them because they're bad and they're just AFKing or they're just dying. So healing them wouldn't really do anything, but it still allows you to solo carry games and capture points 1v2, 1v3, even in some regards, with these builds. They are That's why I put unbeatable in the title, because they are literally... Pretty much unbeatable, okay? Um, and if you encounter these builds, which a lot of people are mad that I have metaf metified the arena over the years, okay? Um, that if you encounter these builds, I kind of give tips on how, what you can do to either escape safely or maybe try to, like, 1v2 them down. You can't 1v1 these builds. Let's just be real. You can't 1v1 them. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much what I got. Finally, once you've made it stinking rich, you're a billionaire and you have crafting alts and you can literally log into the game and for 20 minutes you push the craft button and then you list all the stuff for sale and you make millions and millions and millions of silver for almost no effort doing hardly anything. You have reached what I, as what I am calling super rich. Farms just are a time sink at this point. You can you, like you have so much money that it's not even worth picking the flowers anymore. You have so much money that most laborers just aren't worth the hassle of visiting anymore. Okay? Your alts they just become crafters. You're no longer doing dailies. You just log in, you push that craft button, you rebuy premium when it runs out. Again, for the focus only. That's pretty much all they become. And then islands, they're still cool to have. I mean, I have so, so many islands. This is just one character who doesn't have access to all my other characters' islands. But even then, you can just see, I can just scroll through and just look at them all. There's just so many islands. And, and again, this is just my YouTube character. This is not my main character. For those that are wondering, this is just the character I use to film videos. So yes, the, the total fame of 151 million for having 10,000 gameplay hours this is just my YouTube character for filming. I have other characters that I play on way more than this one, okay? This is so I can avoid being spotted in the wild and camped or followed or, you know, stalked, essentially. But, guys, once you become that rich, yes, a lot of the things that you did early on become useless. But in order to get here, to get here the fastest way possible, just follow this video. Follow the videos that I have outlined and you will absolutely be rich within the first six months of the game you, you could become a billionaire in like the first three to four months if you follow this and play at least eight hours a day if you play a few hours a day it may take six months to be a billionaire or maybe a year if you play only one or two hours a day but even then if you follow this guide it's guaranteed you'll be a billionaire in alpin online you'll never have to pay real money for, for um uh premium you'll never even have you'll get you'll be so rich you don't even have to fame farm you can just go buy tomes and eat 80, bill, 80 million worth of fame tomes to level up whatever it is you want to play. It's that easy. It's that simple. Guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Go check out those videos I've mentioned and uh, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. Make sure you comment on other people's comments. Let me know what you thought about the video and also make sure that you don't miss tomorrow's video because I make videos every day on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. If you want to leave a monetary donation, like if this video really helped you out and you want to show some appreciation, click the thanks button down below. That'll leave a one-time monetary donation that will highlight your comment with how much money that you donated so everyone can see it, and it's like a big power move. 
If you want to support me monthly, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button, okay? I don't sponsor these videos. I don't have stupid ads like Raid Shadow Legends or dumb products placed inside of them, specifically because those are annoying as hell. Instead, become a channel member. It's five bucks a month. It's like being a Twitch subscriber, but here on YouTube. You get access to private, more personal videos, and one of those videos might be really beneficial to you. It's how to become a YouTuber just like me, how to tag, title, thumbnail your videos, how to record, how to edit, all of that stuff. It's wrapped up in a nice little 40-minute package, very easy to follow, and totally worth the 5 bucks per month price of entry. If you want to preview or see a playlist of all the members' videos, go to the pinned comment of this video and check out the members only playlist. If there's something that interests you, feel free to become a member. If you just want to support me and don't care about the videos, feel free to also become a member. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Take care.